Hello, Cancer Singles. I'm Phoenix Rising. <clears throat> if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. I think this is the last time I'm going to say that, Cancers, because it's annoying me. I feel like I say it every video. I'm Phoenix, okay? But if you are hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. I got to find out the pickup line, y'all. Anyway, click like, subscribe, share me. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications when I put out the love reading so you can know what your spouse is on. I'm in a good mood, as you can tell. I'm so talkative this morning. Um, I apologize to you subscribers because I haven't did a read in like two or three weeks. I've been really busy, but I'm back. And if you're new, welcome. Um, this reading is for cancers, and you must be a single cancer at that. So, you have to have cancer in your birth chart, moon, sun, it doesn't matter. Um, and you must be single. So, I'm going to jump straight into your read. Um, this read will be good from the 7th to the 17th of August. And what else is I going to say? I'm going to do singles. I mean, couples after this. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm going to jump straight into your read. I did a four-card spread, four-card main messages. Ask the deck a question. Man, you probably can't see that card because I got so many cards. I call myself trying to make up with y'all because I was so behind. So I've done extra things. This is the question you get to ask the deck. I'll flip it at the end. I'll put it right here so you can't see it. Game spread. Four cards at the top. Soulmate spread <clears throat> to your left and to my right. All right. Now that I've said all those things, let's jump into the read. You got the Six of Cups. It's facing upright. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Cups represent water. This is emotion. So, this is about the past, um, past links that help. It's about thinking about the past. Happiness, lovers from the past. Um, someone in your past is trying to return. An ex is trying to come back for some of you. This is old memories and feelings. Um, deal with the issues that you haven't reminiscing over the past. Something returns from the past. Like I said, I'm going with the ex. An ex-lover, somebody coming back from the past. Re-examine things. It keeps it keeps coming up for a reason. I say re-examine the situation because this ex keeps coming back for a reason. It it's saying something, but it's someone. But this is definitely um, I call it a blast from the past card. It could even be you just sitting reminiscing, thinking about the old relationship. But what's I gonna say? But you got your head in the clouds, kind of. This is um, children um, from the past might return. So it could be an old childhood friend that you used to date, used to like. Um, mm, this is dealing with old issues before thinking of the past um, can get, you can't get it off your mind. Um, you're also thinking of. Uh, well, getting advice from an old friend. Thinking about calling an old friend and maybe get some advice about the situation. Someone that used to give you great advice. But the the Six of Cups is definitely um, thinking, living too much in the past. It's about um, being unable to cope with the past. And being comfortable in an environment. It's like the same old shit as a part of a routine. Bored, no excitement. Uh, being stuck in and comfortable caught up in daydreams about you either you or a potential partner somebody just keep thinking and it's like um having road color rose colored glasses on it's time to take the glasses off looking at the past like yeah i remember those good old times those songs um familiar like pictures i'm even picking up people are going through their phone seeing text messages items that the person had that maybe they gave to you Everything's reminding you of someone. And you might need to change your environment. To get this person off your mind. Like maybe even go outside. But something has you stuck. Or somebody got is stuck in the past thinking about you. Um, and what was I going to say? And this is also to me a childhood teenage love affair. Like you could have been with this person years ago. A sweetheart. Um... Like a little, you know, immature, like chat, like you guys were kids when you first start like dealing with each other. Um, but this is also um, 
it could have led to problems in the relationship because your mate could have been immature and childish. This is relationship held back because of yearning for past love, see? Or previous lover was influencing and causing um, conflict in your brain. Even if you dating somebody, it could cause arguments. You constantly think you probably you still have feelings for this person. That's why it's cups, because cups is emotions. So you still have feelings. You got the page of swords next. Air sign energy. Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, the page. This is message delivered. So that's why I said somebody's reaching out with texts, phone calls. This is also petty gossip, delayed news. Um, this is patience being needed. Don't get drawn into a fight. Could be the ex calling back to start some shit. So I talk. This is someone pulling a fast one on you. This is ex. Somebody from the <clears throat> so from somebody from the past. This is selling you a pack of crap. I'm even thinking they're coming back to sell you the fucking pack of crap. What are you coming back for to sell me the pack of crap for? I don't purchase crap. Shit. <laughs> um, this is don't sign a contract. Reread, rethink. This is about redoing everything. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Do not pass go. It's time to do an investigation. What your ass back for? This is um, fighting injustice, highly intelligent, ambitious, being a student. Pages is about student. Pages is always representing a younger person. So I also want to say, because you know kings and queens and emperors and high priestess are grown-ups. This page is a child. It's like having a teenager. So even if it's a grown-ass man or grown-ass woman that's 40-something, they still embody the, the 14, 15-year-old mind of a child. So... And that's how they're coming off. But this is, um, yeah, you know, they're they just stupid. So you might have to teach them some things. Or maybe you did. And maybe they didn't like how you taught them. But, yeah. Um, yeah, they're selling you a pack of crap. So I don't believe this shit. You heard it here from Phoenix. It's bullshit. Um, this is someone doesn't trust you off back and need to get to know you, not ready to let you in. For so for some of you, it's a potential partner that you're talking to that already got their flags up. Not trying to skip ahead, but that's what this met the magician means more than one thing. But somebody is like a potential partner is also watching your every like, yeah, let me see what they on, what they be doing when I'm not around, who they talk to, where they be, who they hang with, that type of thing. Cause they it's like feeling suspicious about you. And not ready to um, to let you in when dating. It's, this is someone asking a lot of questions about you, googling, research, seeing if they if you worth their time. Like lots of questions, um, asking maybe even mutual friends about you and you know what's going on with so and so. Do he or she got somebody or what they do on it? Like just trying to see. Um. This is also X spreading gossip and rumors. I see it there though. Yeah, this is definitely X spreading gossip and rumors. So this is all about the past, the X. This is this is what your reading is about today. I know I got quiet. And I was going to say, um, this is quick, decisive thinker. That's why they could pull a fast one on you and they um, say, this is like stay on your shit. Beware of possible danger. Somebody spreading vicious lies in the streets. Oh, and this air sign, um, this page, I don't, if it's a picture, potential partner or ex, they're very jealous of you. No shade, but being honest. Air signs um, can be very jealous partners sometimes. So, they want you to themselves. And that's the majority of anybody. But they seem to show it more. And so, I'm just letting you know, like, this person can really... Um, what else was I going to say about this card? This is don't sweat the small stuff. But stay on your fucking ground. Um, this is speak up for yourself. Use your head. Yep. Because you ain't for none of the bullshit. The Ten of Wands is next. Fire sign energy. Leo, 
Sagittarius Aries. You could be dealing with one of those as well. It could be in a, a person's birth chart. It don't have to be. You just take it how it resonates. But this is no fun, love life, stressful, overbearing. You're burdened. You don't have time to date. This is um, needing new and exciting folks have been replaced with um, responsibilities, basically. You're not getting out enjoying yourself. If you want to make time stress, stressing, you know, you, that's not a good thing. You're taking too much time worried about the logistics of life and not enjoying it. That's what I have said when I have said it. And this is don't give up. Carrying the weight of the burden. Let go too much. Selfish. Aggressive. Overextending yourself. Some of you would have been, ooh, married men. I don't know why, I don't, that just came out of nowhere. Some of you could be breaking up with a married man and he got he feels some type of way. He think you're supposed to be. Never grow, never look at stuff and be like, uh, you know what, I don't want parts in this shit. Karma's a bitch. Who wants somebody else's husband? I don't know the fuck I don't. I'm very, I'm cussing today, y'all be alright. But, word to the wise, I never dated nobody married. And I'm not knocking nobody that do. Yes, I am. And I wouldn't care if you unsubscribe. Fuck it. It is what it is. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you can't go look for a husband or expect God to bless you or a source to bless you like that. You sleep with somebody's husband. You causing somebody whole misery and you know it. So karma is a bitch. And what goes around has to come back around. It's the laws of attraction of the world. So I just say that to say if you are, I will end it. <clears throat> it's never too late. You know, you can always. Um... But I don't want nobody's husband. Take your ass home to your wife. And if it ain't working, then divorce her ass. Don't bring your ass over here. I don't want none of that juju karma. Keep that shit. Yep, I said it. Two tears in the bucket. Fuck it today, y'all. I'm just saying. But nah, mm -mm. I'll send your ass home. And don't let me find out you're married. I'll put your ass on blast. I'll call your wife. Come get your man. Fuck. I don't want no karma. Because then when I get married, then that means somebody going to be fucking on my husband. You want somebody fucking on your husband when you get married? That's how y'all think of shit, y'all. Y'all got to think of shit like that. Just saying. My daughter's still behind me. I know y'all like that. She all right. She need to know, too, because it's me out there. She need to hear this shit. Okay, so we're on to the magician. I'm sorry. The magician. Okay, so I'm going to break this down. This is the fourth card for you guys. Now, the magician is um, for some of your relationship moving forward to deeper levels, strong commitment, happiness, manifestation, and power. The magician embodies all the zodiac signs. So you got pinnacles, which is earth signs. You got <clears throat> cups, which is emotion. So pinnacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Come on, y'all. I'm getting old. Swords, air signs. See the sword right there? And then you got wands, Leo, air. So this magician can embody anything. I feel like you're the magician. I feel like that you can manifest whatever you want to get the outcome you want. So, I say that to say, it's basically upon you. Your wishes and dreams come true upon what you put into it. The magician is about mastery, creativity, following through with <coughs> confidence. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Charming, caring, using your personality to entertain someone. Someone finds you very entertaining or you find someone very entertaining. This is charming personality. Someone having so many funny stories, you laughing, and you enjoy to be around. So either a potential partner feels like you're this, or you feel like they're that. Just fun to be around, great to talk to. This is suffering from an illusion, though. Not for everybody, but for somebody. Suffering from an illusion that may feel like you're putting on a show and not being yourself. So a potential partner or ex around here saying you fake. You put on a show, a facade. It's all for, it's all for looks and, you know, you're bullshitting. So, you take that how it resonates. The answer to your question. No way, cancer single. No fucking way. For your first, I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to do the game cards. Left, but I'm going I'm to go to soulmate reading. Let's see what's going on with the soulmate. True love, this is um, this is the romance of a lifetime for your past, for the situation, for the person that you was dealing with. True and lasting love is here for you. Someone has genuine, genuine feelings for you. 
you both can overcome issues that arise with kindness, compassion, and being nice towards each other. Honest, honest conversations needed. Um, if the topic is uncomfortable, don't compromise with an unsuitable partner. Did y'all hear that? I'm going to say that one more time. Don't compromise with the unsuitable partner. Self-love and cherish you. That means you know going into it, this person ain't for you. It's not suitable for your needs. It's not beneficial for your life. That's how we got here. So this partner wasn't, wasn't about the right. For some of you, you got the flags and proceeded on. I know that was a gut punch, but it's the truth. You living, you lying, ain't nobody perfect. I done had signs before too, shit. It's life. You growing though, right? <laughs> and for your present situation, don't... It's in the match up with everything, right? Make a little beat. Make a little beat. Okay, look, y'all. Release your fucking ex. Release this fucking asshole. Present situation. Get rid of this motherfucker. Page of uh, swords. He ain't for you. Stop reminiscing in the past. You better than that. He don't deserve you. This fucker. Fake as hell. Illusion. Carrying all the burdens in the past. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to say what I got to say now. But it's all about releasing your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Get rid of the fucker. Love life will improve once you release your ex. Emotional energy. Increase happiness. Feeling free. Hmm. Attract the new love. Don't you want a new love to attract? Because we're going to listen, Cancer. If you don't listen, you're going to come back with the same shit you had. Brown shit and green shit is still fucking shit. Excuse my language, but it is. So, what you going to do? Trade the brown shit for the green shit? I think not. A suitable partner is what they said. Suitable. Release the ex because he was never suitable. This is, um... They will sense the presence of your ex and your oral. So, while you out there trying to meet new people, I feel like some of you have already met somebody, but they sense the ex and your oral, and they actually tired of you talking about the ex. I just hear it in my head, like... I hear a man on the phone talking to his friend. He like, I wish she shut the fuck up about him. I don't know who that's for. But this new man don't want to hear about this old man. This, he he want to hear about what y'all got going on. Ain't nothing wrong with bringing it up, but don't live. First card, living in the past. Come about it there. Um, yeah, they sensed it in your aura. So, you know, you can run people off like that. Um, when old feelings come, release them. ASAP, take time overnight. Attracting people like your ex. Break the ties of energy. Cleansing burning letters. Asking for um, help. And manifestation. Praying it off of you. Um, crystals. Sage. Things that I do. You got to get them spirits. And then, whoever this was carried a lot of depression with them too. I want to say. Whoever this ex is from the past. They were something else. Don't you turn around, dog. Keep moving forward. With the magician, though, and also you have a thing of people feeling like things just fall in your lap. They think everything just easy for you. And right now, for some reason, you're at the center of attention. That's why I said somebody's just got gossiping on the phone talking about you. You definitely, you definitely the talk of the town right now. People don't have shit to do, so... Um, Hmm. Okay, your last card. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. I'll be trying to make sure I say everything. I hate when I cut the camera off and I'm like, damn, I meant to say that. Some of you got kids with this ex. Baby daddy, baby mama. That is why it's hard to get rid of this person. You, you can't get rid of this person because they, you got kids with them. So, you feel like you can't get out of this situation. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to read this last card and I got something to tell y'all. Because I got I to gotta keep it real with y'all. <clears throat> For your final card. Ooh, I'm talking to y'all long. We're going on 20 minutes. Let me hear you. Final card. Playfulness. Um, to, reca re to recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. It's time to have fun, be playful, don't be so serious about carrying all this weight, 
everything is so tense. It's time to have fun. Let your head down. Especially if you got a potential partner. How he gonna know how you really have fun if you a stickler right now? Playfulness is good energy for your spirit, for your, your thoughts, for manifestation. It's a positive, positive vibe you need to be in. Your first card, you got, you're going through some tough shit. <clears throat> I just said that. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle your shit. You got this shit. I'm rooting for you. You're the shit. Don't forget it. I don't give a fuck what this page of swords coming in trying to be on. Trying to mind fuck you make you feel some type of way. So I'm gonna set his ass down. Libra, Gemini, Cancer. Some of you, I mean, Libra, Gem ooh, some of y'all dating another Cancer, but uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is really. Do you know that uh, air signs are the masters of manipulation because they they represent mental, well, you represent emotion, so you more about feelings. They more about the mind. And my goodness, can they mind fuck somebody? Okay. Um, my ex was a, a Libra. He was an air sign. <clears throat> And my first husband was a cancer. Um, and can I tell you this? I know I'm talking forever. I prefer, I would rather have dealt with my first husband than my second one. The air sign, shh. The cancer, we, it was puppy love. Like, y'all, I got two kids, man. But, and it, it's not bad. You know, we, we, damn, did I speak to him the other day? I don't know. But we, we don't, ain't no hatred or nothing like that. But that second one, that Libra, shit. Anyway, <laughs> you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. You need some yoga. You need some relaxed time. That's why you got it with the Ten of Wands. You need some some meditation, relaxation time. You do you. Mm. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You can't make somebody be nothing. If that was the case, we'd all be doing it, girl. My baby daddy would have a job right now and be paying my child support, honey. If we can make people do if we can make people do what we you want to say, I'm trying to tell you. But we can't. It's so, let that shit go. And since you can't make somebody do what you want them to do, be playful. Have fun. You know? I can't make him be a dad. You can't make a person be around. My daughter's birthday was June 21st. She canceled um, Gemini. You think this nigga called? No, the fuck he didn't. And do you think we give a fuck? Because we don't. She just turned 13. He been doing this shit for 13 years. She get old. You move on. And that's where we at. Okay, cancel. I'm done. Drops the mic. Phoenix rise. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. No, I dropped the mic though. Okay, so I'm gone. Single cancers. I'm going on to couples. I hope you enjoy. Click like, subscribe, share me. Pick up on some of this good energy your tarot card reader sending to you. I'm sending all my good vibes to you. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.